So let's put in iCat. And maybe we'll also put in Rocat. See if that might be enough here. Okay? Other than that, I don't think this is going to be that hard of a stage, but I've never played it before, so I don't know. But check out this new guy, eventually, when he comes out. There he is! Wow! Look at him! He's beautiful! Absolutely gorgeous! I love it! Hey guys! Welcome back to Battle Cats! There were so many comments on the last episode saying, Matt, you didn't do... The Wildcat Slots! So I'm gonna start this video off by doing the Wildcat Slots, okay everybody? Calm down. Did I really? Did I really? Okay, 777. Someone was like, Matt, you didn't do it the second time. The first time gives you 777, the second time gives you 1 to 200. But I already did it twice, this is my third time doing it. My first time... Um, doing it this time around, you know what I mean? And this is the bonus spin, which is going to be almost 777. And the machine breaks. <laughs> That's a lot of cat food, guys. Seriously, this is like the most cat food you can ever get for free. Now today, guys, I am going to smash through two chapters in Uncanny Legends. Uh, the first one, Barking Bay, is supposed to be, like, super cheesable. I'm not sure exactly what that means. I know what cheese is, but you know what I'm saying. I don't know the specifics. And, uh, Abyss Gazers is just apparently a really easy chapter. And, uh, after Abyss Gazers, the chapter after that is supposed to be a lot more difficult. Now, I believe there's, like, a new enemy in every chapter, guys. But the enemy in Barking Bay, we've already seen Loris. You know, the, 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 the jumpy guy. You know the jumpy guy, so that's not gonna be much of a surprise. Let's just get in there. Crowded Surf. Three enemies, we got our relic loadout, I suppose. That doesn't look very relic to me. That looks good enough. It's, it's a pretty straightforward situation here, guys. Let's go, Crowded Surf! It's not that crowded, man. There's only three enemies in here. You'd expect there to- oh my god. Okay, do you guys have- do you guys have barriers? Or nah? These look like some strong boys, guys. I don't know how, how strong these boys actually are, but they look like strong boys. Man, even these little guys are pushing us back. What's that about? Stop doing that! Oh boy. Okay, so this is just- this is a wash. Let's get out of here. I hate this. This is why I look things up, guys. Sometimes I don't. And then I regret it. I didn't put a lot of, um of anti-metal in here, guys. I just put Catasaurus in here. But I got Catalyte now to uh, block that uh, warp, so that's nice. And I got Catman. Catman and Aphrodite. Like, we don't gotta worry about anything anymore. Yo, this- we might gotta worry about this guy. Now we have warp blockers, right? Don't- don't- don't warp me, bro. Don't warp me. They warp me a little bit, but that's okay. Aphrodite's gonna take care of this, no problem, guys. All we need is some range. And hey, if that range happens to be massive damage to aliens, then so be it. Okay, here's where it gets crazy, though. Oh my god! That was quite the hit, dude! Okay, so we just hit this guy twice. There's the third one. It's all over. <laughs> what a stage, guys! Absolutely just so difficult. So, it was so hard for me to do that stage. I'm shaking from the trauma. These guys are still knocking me back. I don't like that, man. Look at that. They're knocking back my Awakened Bahamut. Well, that's a lot of XP and some uh, materials. That's great. You know, this just reminded me that I really need to do something about my cat base, guys. I need to upgrade it. I keep getting these materials. I need to get, like, a, a couple of different types of attacks for it. Um, there's some, like, different beams that you can use, obviously. And I've just basically ignored it for such a long time, so... That's on my list. Perhaps I'll uh, get at it while I'm on vacation because I'm going to be like on planes and stuff. There's not going to be an episode of Battle Cats next Sunday. So maybe if you hit the like button extra hard, this one will get double the amount of views and make up for it. Okay, mutinous waves. I, I'm i going to look it up, guys. I'm going to I'm gonna look it up just to see what enemies in, are in there. I don't need to, to, to look up a strategy. I just need to know who I'm up against. By the way, guys, apparently Barking Bay is a place in British Columbia where I live. So maybe I'll have to go to Barking Bay someday. All right, guys, so this next stage is supposed to be, like, super easy. Um, but there's zombies in it, so we should use Amaterasu. We can unlock the zombie killer trait. Boom, the, the talent. And now she'll be able to take care of them. So that's obviously pretty awesome. 
So basically, we could beat this stage without Amaterasu having her zombie killer trait, but this will um, half the amount of time we have to fight the hippo for, the zombie hippo, because the zombie hippo is gonna die on the uh, first death. You know how they, they turn into bones and then you gotta help them out. Okay, so we just need to get past these uh, angel hippos. And, uh, and I'm just trying to save up money right now. There we go. There it is. Okay. And she did nothing. Wow. Wait, don't go anywhere. Because your, your whole job right now is... To, oh, no. They're behind her. Stop it. Now it's bones. I don't know if this thing is going to be technically in front of her or behind her at this point, guys. Totally fail. Oh, there. Thank you. The Dagshund really did the trick. And now we can actually kill these guys. Okay, well, that's it. There's a hippo that's gonna appear here in a second, I suppose. It's really having a hard time tunneling underground. You go ahead. No, you're doing a great job. Um, you almost got... No! Ah, oh, come on! I thought this was it, and now here we are, having to fight another set of these guys. 25,000 health left on this thing! You never! You sneaky! You sneaky snake! If, if you... There you go. I was gonna say, if you could just get out of my way for a minute. Thank you. Bye. Boys and gills. That's a that's a good one. That's a that's a funny. Four cappies protecting an Otham. What's an Otham? Oh, a relic uh, moth. Well, I, I don't like cappies very much, but that's okay. Aren't these guys just hilarious? I mean, look at them. Look at the little legs on this guy. He's got places to go. He do be walking though. So we just have to put out Rocat to stop this guy. And, uh, know, put out the rest of the anti-reds as well. Yeah, that's right. Okay, maybe having the knockback is not a good idea here. Maybe let's, let's not get any more knockback. Because it's just gonna put him out of position and possibly end up hurting us. You know? We should kill them instead. And this one pirate is gonna do so much knockback now. We'd have to, like, let our whole loadout die to get rid of him. <laughs> we don't have a lot of money right now. And the moth is actually kind of being mean to us. I'm gonna die here, waiting for you, Catman. Catman, please. You are the hero we need right now. And go. Okay. Now we need to we need to get a row cat in here, but we can't really. Oh, and they chewed on him. Right. So this this is this is this was very awkward, guys. We we I don't know if we're gonna pull this off. Okay. This is not gonna go the way we wanted it to. Oh! Ah. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, we guess we gotta stop. We gotta stop. I think I think that was actually our biggest problem there, guys. Was the uh, the knockback. I wonder if we can do it without it. I also kinda wanna put on put in something that would do a little more damage to the reds, but I wonder if we could do it without doing that. Oh, uh, we're not gonna kill any of them, are we? We're not gonna kill any of these guys. What the heck? Just four cappies! That's it! But I be struggling though! Forget it. I know what I'm doing. Yeah. That's a knockback, but like, is a knockback enough here? Oh! They never. You're joking me right now. Meat shields, I think? I think that's what I gotta do here, guys. I gotta get meat shields instead, because Rokat's not doing the trick. I kinda wanted maybe Amaterasu to do something. I know she can do pretty good damage here against a bunch of things, but now we're just gonna end up getting toasted. So stop again. Wow, I didn't, I thought it was gonna be easy. I mean, it's fine. I just need to, you know, be smarter. Okay, I'm letting him get close, but then I'm sending out these guys, okay? Single attack, I mean, what are you, what are you gonna do? You, you can only attack one thing, bro. And there, okay. We will have to put them out faster eventually, but that's okay. Right now, this is fine. I mean, if, if we can kill one, we'll be fine, right? I mean, the, the moth is gonna be a bit of an issue, but I think the moth will just hit the meat shields. So if we can kill one of these guys, we'll be in better shape. Problem is, guys, I can't really even use Rokat here, because Rokat, as soon as it's cursed, it loses its immunity to these red dudes. There goes one. Okay, that's, that's really good news. That will help us a lot. Let's try and maybe freeze. Oh! You hurt me. You're doing fantastic, I'm a terror suit. Don't worry. There you go. Another one bites the dust. Okay, here we go. Boom. Ah, uh, didn't kill him. Oh, but we 
We killed the moth. Okay, well in that case, I don't know how we managed to do that before the other guy. So that was it guys. We just needed to uh, get more meat shields so they couldn't hit our back line. We did uh, get knocked back once, but that was fine. Okay. Next up on the rocks. Attacking the enemy base will spawn the boss, a duo consisting of Bun Bun Black and Director Kurosawa. Metal One Horn and Metal Doge appear as support. That's just, what? Are you joking? That is the, the lamest thing I've ever heard in my life. People have been telling me I should true form War God Yukimura. Can I do it? Just as a little side note here, let's take a look. What am I missing? Nothing. Oh, look at that guys. Immortal Yukimura. True form evolution increases attack, also gains faster movement speed. And this guy deals massive damage to black enemies. Oh, that was wrong button. That's okay. Here, here you go, I have another one. All good, there, there you go. He does damage the, massive damage to black enemies. He's a rusher. Might be fun in this stage. There he is, guys. Looking extra not able to die, I guess. What are the talents, though? Attack up, resist freeze, resist slow, defense buff, attack buff. Okay. I wasn't gonna do any evolutions today, guys, but uh, the opportunity arose, and now we can try this guy out. It'll be fun. I don't think we're gonna have any trouble with this one, guys, but, I, you know, I could be wrong. We have Cat Tornado and Catasaurus. Here we go. And get him. No, I said get him. Wait, you're supposed to get him. Catasaurus, man. Okay, here comes a couple more. We really gotta like protect this guy better or something. Whoa, look at this guy. Landing double crits and then not landing anymore. Just making money here, guys. It's all good, there we are, okay. Knock, knock. I knock. Hello there. So if we could maybe get rid of that doge, that'd be great. We are gonna have a problem here if we have these guys in the front because we have the bun bun in the back. Um, but let's just see what happens here. If we put out a bunch of stuff, maybe, uh, yeah, that's right, slow it down. Come on, get him. We need a pating. We need a pating right now. One, come on. We need another one. We, we got it, but we didn't. Oh, man. Guys. Oh, the wave attack knocked him back. That's nice. If we could maybe take these guys out now. Come on. Take them out. Oh, it's just the one horn now. All right. So, Pizza Cat actually is surprisingly effective here because he can knock the Bun Bun back. Unfortunately, we have a bit of a problem, and you guys need to stop. Stop. Okay. Right. Best thing for me to do here would be to maybe get longer range so we can kind of go over the metal enemies. Let's stall a little more, and then we'll release everything at the same time. All right. Here we go. We might be able to take this guy out at the beginning there. That's nice. And actually, if this guy comes at us like this, we can just rush him with uh, Yukimura. So that might be the best strat of all. Don't you come over here, dog. Go. There we are. Should be able to maybe slow him down a little bit. I didn't mean with the slow, but you know, that's okay. Did Yukimura die? Did he like instantly die, guys? I think he instantly died. It's the worst way to die, man. Hmm. Okay, there goes there goes the rhino guys. Was that like one hit? Did they did they just one hit the rhino? Come on. There we go. Boop. Boop. Okay, now we're now we're just rushing in, guys. We've got Yukamura here. Oh! Something bad just happened. Okay. We did it. All is good. This guy, there's no way he can kill us by himself. He needed all the help he could get, and he lost it. And it's all over for him. Okay. More stuff, more XP, guys. I got a lot of XP. I mean, I, I got a lot of XP because of all the uh, achievement things that I got rewarded for later. Um, okay, so Seahorse Siren is next. Two enemies in here. Who are they? Old Horn and a massive amount of Sorrels. What? That should mean, guys, that all we have to do for this stage is use our anti relic units. So I got a bunch of them here. Just gotta walk in and kill. Hey, buddy. How you doing? I kind of feel bad for him. You know, he just reminds me of like an old man. 
he's just just cruising out like hey uh, you guys want some help over here what do you what are you kids doing on my lawn or my beach or whatever oh nothing old horn silly old horn guys he's always mad at the kids mm, let's do awaken Muhammad just because you know they're so far away I want to do some damage oh and he died that is just so pitiful so pitiful all right thank you very much and now young cuttlefish mm. five seals three gory blacks that's it until the boss fight and then when you damage the base loris the loris guys wow anti-red anti-black anti-relic so the seal i'm not worried about the seal guys in fact i don't even really want to uh progress too fast through this stage i want to save some money i'm gonna go ahead and upgrade my wallet as much as i can i knew he would give me a bunch We'll let this next guy kind of come to us a little bit, maybe. If he doesn't get killed by the can-can first. He's moving so slow. Come on, bro. Oh, there's another one. It's all good. Level up the rest, I guess. Oh, guys. Now the gorilla is here. Now we got to be a little a little more persistent. You know, I didn't get the rest of my, uh, my levels here. So, like, what do you think you're doing? Give them to me. It's just one more. There we go. Okay. Okay. Here, here are the boys. So this guy's got a bit of a long-range attack. I've already beaten him before, so like I don't really care that much about him. As for the zombies, we're just gonna ignore them. I've gotten very far in this game by just ignoring the zombies and pretending they don't exist. I just don't like them, and I don't want to waste my time thinking about them. So who is this guy able to hit? He's hitting our uh, our, our rodeo cats. Oh, he hit our Catman, too. What the heck, Loris? Nobody told you you could do that. I gotta kill you now. Oh, there's another one. Stick it to the Lorises. Tell them they're not even worth killing. I hate you so much, I wouldn't even waste my time killing you. Bah. Easy. Easy. Now, we're gonna do a whole other chapter, guys. Let's go. Abyss Gazers. Gazing into the abyss, guys. It's a... It's a one of my favorite pastimes. Deadly weapons. How deadly? Doge and Doge Dark. And then Henry comes out with a shy boy. Henry is the uh, anglerfish and the shy boy is the redhead. Okay, just go for it. Yeah, let's just go for it. I don't care. I don't even care. Okay, they, they come out fast in this one, guys. This guy is just running like hell. Stop, die. Level up a bunch and just maybe take it easy. I know this guy can 1v1 a can-can to death. Sad. Another level up all the way before anything happens level, guys. These are my favorite, okay? It's such a simple strategy, but it works so well. Okay, this should be fun, right? There he is. The anglerfish, not a super nice guy, but it's okay. All those doges kind of made things a little funny at the beginning, but there's gonna be less of them from now on, right? Or are they just gonna spawn like crazy? It looks like they're spawning like crazy. And here's another floating head. Guys, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at all the money I have now, guys. This is crazy. This is too much money, man. What are you doing? Why'd you go die? There, there's one floating head gone. Please tell me the doges eventually end. There's a lot of them. It's just two shy boys, guys. Two more shy boys. So that means that it's just the two that we have here. They killed Pikaland. And they killed Catman. They've killed my hopes and my dreams, and now they must pay with their lives. Okay, now it is just the anglerfish. Boy, it is over for you! Look what you've done. Look what you made me do. Look what you just made me do. Look what you just made me do. Henry, bro, do you, do you know who I am? Four knockbacks, Henry! Four knockbacks! And he died to my wave attack. That is so sad. <laughs> you should have just died earlier, man. That was embarrassing. You got killed by a cat base wave. Not even a very good one. Goodbye! Thanks for the stuff! Alright, here we go. Inspirational mural. Well, that's pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? It's a mural that is inspirational. There's a mooth in this one, which is not a moose. It is a moth. A regular moth and a bunch of regular squirrels. 
and then the red bun bun. You guys, you gotta miss me with this easy stuff, okay? This is just, it's free. This is, this is free money when we, when we kill this ma. I mean, mooth. You know, I wish there was a moose in this game, guys. There's a reindeer, but moose are cooler than reindeer, just so you know. I'm not just saying that because there are moose in Newfoundland and no reindeer there. Okay, kill him. Now. Got it. Okay. I didn't level up this time. Oh, there he is! He's on a timer. Ooh. Fancy. Now, Catman is attacking something that isn't a relic or... What is it? Alien or angel? One of the two. Either way, Catman is not designed to attack this guy, but he can do it just fine. He can do anything he wants, guys. Oh, look! It's a relic moth! I mean, moose! Guys, I have a problem. They, they figured out how to take my base down, and then they did it. So that was mean. I put in Amaterasu instead of Catman. Now we're going to do the exact same thing. And we're gonna win. Now how much do we actually get from this thing? I know it's a lot. If we can actually kill it, that is. There we go. Oh man, it, it is a lot. Yeah, so let's get Pikalan here. And that should basically be good. This guy is gonna jump out. There he is. Everything moves back. So now we have Pikalan to do that. Stop everything in his tracks, which was probably a good thing because the uh, Bun Bun was really close to hurting Amaterasu. We don't like it when that happens. Oh man. Look what they just did. Oh, and they cursed Pikalan first, so he didn't even get to do his attack. Okay, guys, they're gonna make me try. I can't believe this. They're gonna they're gonna make me try. Uh-oh. We didn't even take it out this time. What the heck? What the heck? No, it has to die. This is very important. It's a huge part of the strategy. Please stop. Oh my god. Are you joking? No. <laughs> Ignore that, it didn't happen! I uh I didn't realize that if you don't time the can cans properly, it doesn't work. So I timed the cane cans properly. Is this it? I, I feel like the meat, the, the extra meat shields ought to do the trick here. But uh, I'm not positive. Oh my god, how strong is this red dude? Seriously? How have we not already won? What went so wrong here? All right, guys, that was really close. As you can see, they were almost at the base, but we, uh, we took out the red guy, and now we can win. All right, there it is. So that was two, okay. I used a lot of energy on that. Sunlit Caves, Gory Blacks in groups of three, Relic Doges as support, a Pseudo Boss, followed by two Old Horns and a steady stream of Shadow Boxer Ks. A Pseudo Boss, what do you mean a Pseudo Boss? Are you gonna tell me what it is? I guess I'll find out, let's go. Okay, here's the group of three Gorillas. But I've got one pizza cat. So like, miss me bro, cause I won't miss you. Look at that double kill, savage. Stop, wait, guys, guys, no. Oh, oh, just in time. I love it. I want a little more money first, you know what I'm saying? Oh, triple kill! Okay, now I'm good. I'm sure there's not gonna be three more gorillas in this amount of time. But a Relic Doge! Mmm. Mmm. Okay, now he's hitting the base, and... Sorry, what is the Pseudo Boss? I don't understand what's happening right now. It says a Pseudo Boss spawns, followed by two Old Horns. But I'm pretty sure the Old Horns are the Pseudo Boss. Perhaps when they say a Pseudo Boss spawns, what they mean is... The noise happens, and then the music changes. Okay, well that was incredibly easy. I don't know what else to say here, guys. There was no strategy involved on my part besides saving money and then putting things out, which is literally every level. Okay, Glittering Peaks. We got a Sunfish Jones here, guys. And uh, Slipnir. I don't like Sleipnir, one of my one of my least favorite things in the whole game. And Aloris! Oh. And Gabriel's, which are the little angel doges, are there as well. So basically, anti-angel, anti-relic. Hold on a second. Catman, 
Ah, oh, he's anti-alien relic. So close. Ultima, Galaxy, Cosmo. He kind of helps with this one. I don't know. Um, maybe Jones is going to get him. But if not, he'll help with the uh, stupid slight nears. We definitely need everyone's favorite little tanky boy, ramen cat. Um, should we get another anti-angel maybe? I don't know if this would really work here, but if we want, we could try acrobat cats. Um, they do some knockback. Because in a situation where you have a Sunfish Jones doing a crazy long attack, maybe knockback might actually be good. Let's find out. Gross. This dude is gross. And I just realized it's a very short level, guys. Not good. Guys, the Sleipnir. Such, such a powerful enemy. Very hard to kill. Very hard to even do damage to. And, okay, so... Jones ain't so bad here, because he's only gonna go as far as he needs to to attack our front line. But we're gonna have an issue. We're gonna have an issue with this guy for sure. Literally, the best thing we have here is Cyberpunk to slow him a little bit. That's it. That's not gonna be enough, man. Okay, what about Pika Land? You think if I gave you a Pika Land, you could, I don't know, turn this whole thing around? Maybe we could actually get an attack in with Can Can here. Boom. Yeah. Oh, another Loris. Oh, you shouldn't have. Look at that, guys. I actually don't know if this is a good thing at all. Because Jones just... He's, he's still going to have the same distance for his attack. Everybody else is now in the back line. Let's get Cosmo here, because he shouldn't get hit by Jones. And then Cosmo can knock back the Angels. This might not be over yet. And there. Okay, so that just knocks him back even further. Is that what we want? <laughs> I don't know. We lost our Pika land. Probably the nail in the coffin here, guys. Oh, and they interrupted Cosmo's attack. Loris, your attack is too... Too long range, man. Stop. I'll let you guys have the satisfaction of killing me. I don't mind. It's cool. It's cool. Go ahead. Go ahead. Here's how we're going to beat this. We're going to get a long range anti-angel. Okay, we already have him. We got anybody that we have leveled up? No. There's no long range anti-angels that would be good here. I mean, I have enough stuff I could do this. Might slow angels and strike a savage blow. You know what? Yeah, let's try the Kin Rangers Robo Force. Because why not? Well, they have an evolution as well, guys. You need two Elder Cat Fruit for it. True from evolution gains improved defense and attack plus curse attack versus angels. Interesting. Well, you're not getting it because I, I don't have the stuff for it. But I will donate my precious XP to you so you can actually be like a level 30. We can actually outrange this guy with uh, King Dragon Cat and also Manic Dragon. And lastly, I think I'm gonna use um, Maglev. I didn't bother changing Future Cat. I probably should have. Oh well. So if we can keep this guy in one place and use the dragons and maybe some Ubers at some point. Okay, I have to stop because they're too close to the base. I don't wanna play close to the base here. Let me try again. Now we can try out this Uber that I've never tried before. There it is. Whoa. Oh, boy. All right. That, that could be fun. And try that again. Oh, man. Look at that. That's amazing. Burn them. Get, get out of here, Loris. Oh. They got hit. Not supposed to happen. They are outranged by Loris. Loris, you're the worst, dude. I hate you so much, Loris. We are holding here. That is all we need to do. We just need to hold long enough to eventually start taking these dudes out. That's it. And we're then we're good. There you go. We got Slipnir taken out. Bring in the Robo Force so we can die. Uh <laughs> Bye bye, Sunfish. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna try, right? You're gonna try and hurt us. I wish we had more like attack power here, not just a bunch of ramens serving up some delicious noodles. All good. All good. Thank you. Okay, that was that was intense, guys. It's over now. Okay, we can move on. Murmuring Evil. A copy of Chubby Be Good, implementing the newer enemy variants. The assassin bears also take half as long to appear. What? Chubby Be Good. Eighth and last stage in Squishy Cave. 
One assassin bear spawns after 15 minutes. Infinite after 15 minutes delay, 0 0.07 to four seconds. What? So seven minutes and we get assassin bears. I'm a, I'm just gonna get in there because that description, a copy of Chubby Be Good doesn't sound, uh, it's not very descriptive. No, wait, stop. Had to fix the loadout a little bit, guys, okay. Ah, Ultra Baba. Amaterasu is coming in, guys. She doesn't currently have the barrier breaker. I gotta give her that talent and then we'll be good to go. Let's see her do it, guys. Let's see how well this works. Okay, didn't work that time. We are gonna need a lot of barriers broken because that's a lot of Ultra Babas. Oh boy, maybe, maybe I should have took Gideon Liberty in here. Question is, will she break them all if she breaks one? I don't know. She's not doing anything yet. Oh, there goes the one barrier. These guys are so weak, I literally can't do anything right now. It's just a, a basically a stall. Like, I can't even place very very many units because they're not... There we go! That was beautiful! Beautiful! Hello? Okay. Uh, great. We didn't take a critical hitter, guys. We have a zombie killer, though. That's nice. Please don't. Oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a huge issue, guys. Unless we break this barrier soon, this is gonna be this is gonna be it for us because it's gonna protect everybody else. That's so bad. That's so bad. I want you to keep trying, okay? Keep trying. What was that? Was a, that was a zombie kill, which is great. But hey, how about another one? How about another Amaterasu? Because we're gonna run out of the first one soon. Okay, all the barriers are gone, guys. We have a lot of meat shields, perhaps. Our meat shields can take out these hippos the old-fashioned way because I didn't bring any crits. No, you know what? I am not messing around. This will take a million years. Kitty of Liberty and a critical hitter. Oh! Wait a minute! You can break barriers? Oh, man. I forgot about that, guys. Okay, well, that's... I mean, that's fine. No biggie, right? So I have seven minutes to do this, guys, and if I don't do it, the assassin bears are going to absolutely wreck me. But it looks like it's over, so not getting wrecked by assassin bears sounds like a good time. Yeah, all right, sweet. You had a too slow come, they had a too slow. It ain't too slow. It was just fast enough. Languid, lakeside, let's go. Similar to Realm of Carnage, okay. Loki makes his debut as head villain with support from two boars and 20 Sir Rells. Okay. That's the red boar, by the way, guys. The red boar. So, we need anti-red and anti-relic. I think ultra delinquent will be fun to have here, guys. I'm gonna use lots of, uh, lots of anti-relic units. So let's put in eye cat, and maybe we'll also put in row cat. See if that might be enough here, okay? Other than that, I don't think this is gonna be that hard of a stage, but I've never played it before, so I don't know. But check out this new guy, eventually, when he comes out. There he is, wow, look at him, he's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous, I love it. Killing that guy is not gonna be the problem. The boar that's gonna help him out is gonna be the problem. Also, is he gonna have an attack like Hanya? Cause Hanya's attack was savage. Let's find out. Hey buddy, oh! What are you? Oh, he's fast, he attacks fast, guys. He got that stanky breath. Yikes, bro, yikes. It's gonna be tough to do anything with this guy. He's gonna curse us before we have a chance to actually hurt him, right? Okay, hang on a second. We managed to freeze. That was good, so we're not, we're not always gonna get cursed here. That's good. There's another freeze. Come on, Can Can, do a thing. Hurry. Don't let him stop. Don't let him stop. We have a row as well, but the row is gonna get cursed and it's not gonna be effective against the boar anymore. If we can hold this guy off, if we can just keep doing the, killing the boar, we'll get the boar taken care of and we'll keep fighting him. Okay, look at that. Now I'm gonna get a cyberpunk here. That'll be a good next step, I think. Uh, if we time it right, we could probably hit him with Awaken Bahamut as well. Other than that, I don't think we're gonna have much of a problem here, to be honest. Let's try the Awaken Bahamut thing for... 
forget it. Just forget it, okay? Just forget it. Now we gotta kill this guy again. Gross! Okay, can somebody help me, please? I don't wanna just end up... End up dead. End up dead! So, yeah, guys, that was some stinky breath. But, uh, other than that, it wasn't too bad at all. Yeah, if you can get past the stench, you should have no problem with this level. <laughs> If you can handle a red boar, you're good. I mean, that guy was a that guy was a joke. Come on, man. You call that a boss? Hanya was better. Bring back Hanya. All right. And I got a thing, an enigma. Sweet. All right, guys. I'm gonna end it there. We did it. We beat the uh, relic head. The uh, uh, what's his name? Loki. His name is Loki. Not Loki like the the, the Norse god, but Lo key don't know why that's just how it is <laughs> as i said guys there won't be an episode of battle cats next sunday so i just want to let you know in advance but everything will be back to normal the following week thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time goodbye